All right, you're recording. Oh, well, oh, uh, really? Damn, he almost hit that lady and you. That guy was, that was that guy's fault. The last one was- He's California exempt, fault. dude. Yeah, well- He's I also heard. exempt from knowing how to drive properly. Family thrift store. Here we are, dude. What's, What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my wife's channel where she does thrifting, fashion, and beauty. <laughs> and many other things. Over here on her little corner of the internet, today's adventure, we are back in YC. She's going to go shopping for many things, and you guys are going to buy them on her Depop and Poshmark. This channel is completely fueled by your guys' desire to have cool clothes, <laughs> from online purchases at Depop. So go check out her closet before we get started because that is what is fueling the fire. Everett's got his pug shirt on today and he's feeling saucy. Saucy and sassy. All right guys, I just pulled up to Salvation Army. I realized that I've been skipping out on Salvation Army and they've got some good sales. So I'm gonna try to make it one of my regular stops and Everett's gonna stay in the car and work. He's going to blindly work. That's how I feel with my mask on sometimes. All right, guys, let's go into Salvation Army. I'm going to try to be fast in here, though, because I got other places to go today. Oh, wow, they rearranged again. Last time I was here, they had stuff in different places. All right, let's see what the sales are. Linens, pillows, framed art, and orange tags. So look for them orangies. Orange tags. I don't care about any of these. This little purse is cute, but it looks like it has some like strings coming off at the bottom. But if not, I would have gotten that one. You want a soap dispenser on our kitchen sink? I don't like those because I don't like to refill them with the... I don't know why, but I just have to buy these. All right. All right. No purses, but I did find these cute little shoes. They're kind of cute. I tried to hurry in there. I only spent $13, which is really good because like eight of those were from Everett's stuff. Everything I bought was on sale. Bow, bow, bow. Spent $13. 13. I don't think I found anything in there for me, which is okay because I have a million clothes. More than that. And now I am hand sanitizing. There's COVID testing literally right in front of us at the Walgreens right there. <laughs> and we are headed over to drop Everett off at Starbucks and I'm going to go to Target and Goodwill. I need some more tubs for my clothes to organize them. I'll show you the haul later. All right, friends, here we are at Goodwill. Let's see what good things we can find today. Wish me luck. I have my crazy disco pants on today. My glittery pants. This is really pretty, it's really sheer, but I feel like it'd be cool worn open as like a kimono or like an over thing. It says it's from H&M Conscious, so that's pretty cool. $7. Bar 3, I feel like I've heard of that brand from other resellers, but I don't know. I don't know if this is really my style. This is a beautiful vintage silk dress. I feel like I'm trying to really stay like focused with the style in my closet, but this is a good find for whoever gets this little guy. It's beautiful, 100% silk. It's a pretty little color. 
cute little like structured basket bag. It's pretty cute. I asked you guys on Instagram if I should get it. So if you guys are on Instagram, go follow me over there. I always end up asking you guys what stuff I should buy and it's really helpful. There we go. All right, you guys, Everett actually kind of had like an emergency and had to leave really fast at Starbucks. So I kind of like had to make quick decisions on what I got. I got, I spent $62 and got some super cute things. I also had to get some tubs. <laughs> but now I have to go pick him up really fast. Didn't get to try anything on today. All right, let's do this. All right, you guys, we are back from the thrift store and I'm here to do the haul portion. Honestly, I did the beginning of this video like a few weeks ago, so I'm a little like fuzzy on what I got. And I think I've actually sold some of the items on my Poshmark and Depop closets already, so I don't have absolutely everything. I've been trying to like actually list the things as soon as I get home, so some stuff might be missing from the haul, I'm sorry. Also, the second thing I wanted to check in with you guys before we get into the haul is that I just wanna let you guys know that I steam all of the things before. I like to keep the price tags on the items because you guys like to know how much I paid for them and if I take them off and wash everything I don't remember how much everything costs and then people complain in the comments and then if I leave the price tags on people complain in the comments that I didn't wash them but you guys I steam everything when I get home to sanitize it See this right here? This is my steamer that I got off of Amazon. I use it to steam all of my clothes for my Poshmark and Depop closets, but I also steam my items. So those of you guys that are in my comments being like, ew, you're gross. You need to clean these things. You guys, this gets hotter than your washer and dryer and it sanitizes things when you steam them. So for all of those little negative Nancys in the comments, I just wanted to let you guys know that you guys don't know what's going on when I'm not filming, you guys. I think it's so funny, everyone's... Everyone's opinions of people on the internet, you guys, sometimes it's a lot. It's a lot to put yourself out there on the internet and just take everyone's criticisms when they don't know what they're talking about. I don't want to give the negative Nancy's any more of my energy and let's just move on into the haul. All right, you guys, this first thing I am so excited to start wearing. I actually haven't worn it yet. And it is this super fun and funky cow print belt. It's like a white with brown speckles. And what I love about it is it's actually pony hair. So it has the little like hairy fur. And I love it so much. Honestly, one day I want a pair of pony fur, pony, pon pony hair, pony hair boots, cowboy boots. Oh my gosh. I've been looking on Poshmark and Depop for one for so long, but I'm really, really picky and I haven't found the right pair yet. But one day I would love to get a pair of pony hair boots, cowboy boots. This didn't have a price tag, but I'm pretty sure that she rang it up pretty cheap for me. So it was like three or four bucks. And I absolutely love this belt so much. I think it's so cute. It's very on trend right now and it's not too big. I thought when I first saw it, it was gonna be too big, but it actually fits me perfectly. And I thought that it goes really, really well with this next item that I ended up finding which is this woven brown purse right here. You guys know I love all of the little woven bags and this one is no exception. I have a lot of like lighter brown and like rattan and like, um, what's it called? Like light brown beachy bags, but I don't have one that's a deep brown and I thought it would look really cute with like dark brown belts or that cow print belt just because it is the same color of brown. This one was $5.49 and I plan on keeping this for myself for a while and I don't see a, oh, it's from the brand Nine West. And someone left their trash in there. Money? Purell hand sanitizer from the frickin' from 10 years ago. <laughs> and a pin from the Pepper Mill, which is a casino. <laughs> 
probably a grandma's purse. But yeah, I just thought it was really cute. It matched the cow print purse. It kind of matches my little headscarf today. Both of these ones I ended up getting at Goodwill. This one I ended up finding at Salvation Army. You guys, I made a friend with the manager, I think it is, of Salvation Army. If you're watching, shout out to you. I love you girls at Salvation Army. They're super sweet. They realized that I film for YouTube and like do Poshmark and Depop. And so now every time I come in, we're like all homies. I think your name is Allie. You're so cute and sweet. And I think she subscribed to my channel. So yeah, I've been, I've been making all my friends at the thrift store. And since I've been going into Salvation Army again, I've made friends. <laughs> um, so yeah, I picked this up at Salvation Army. They have super good sales at Salvation Army. We don't have sales at our Goodwills very often, except for holidays, but they do at Salvation Army on a normal basis. It's like color tags. So I've been hitting up Salvation Army a lot lately and I found this gorgeous little shirt right here. It's from the brand Forever 21 Contemporary. And the real reason I wanted to pick this up is because it's just such a very like autumn fall color and it's such a unique color. I don't really think I have very many colors like this in my wardrobe so it definitely gives me something new is this brown is it orange like what color is this it's probably like a it's like a poo poo brown and I love it so much super pretty name this color down below in the comments <laughs> and I also thought it went really well with my one of my favorite pieces from this haul which is this I showed you guys this in the dresses at Goodwill it's from H&M uh, conscious which don't get me started on that um, and I think it's supposed to be a dress or it was at least in the dress section but the thing is is it's very sheer so you'd have to wear something underneath it no matter what and honestly I think it would look really beautiful as a kimono you could also just put it over another dress as well and that would be really really nice with like a pair of western boots but I thought it was really pretty as a kimono I honestly just threw it over this little white top that I have on here and these Joe's jeans they're kind of like a flare jean so I felt like it went with the whole kind of like hippie vibe and this print is just so 70s to me you guys know I've been getting into the 70s dressing and it's also really really in fashion right now so I absolutely love this this is probably my favorite thing from the haul and I'm excited that I get to wear it now and it was seven dollars at Goodwill so yeah so excited love this so much think it's really pretty perfect for the fall time when it's like still warm but you want something that looks a little bit more fall vibes and it looks so good with the peanut brittle little top there so yeah, those go together, so excited. Next up, I found this one at Goodwill. The tag fell off, but it was $2.99. I just looked at it, it's on the floor still. I didn't pick it up. I'll throw it away after. Um, but what I really liked, this one actually is from Shein, but what I really liked about this little shirt is that it had this like gorgeous crisscross ties in the back. It's very revealing. So this is what I like to call a Las Vegas shirt. I go to Las Vegas once a year for a week. This year we didn't get to go because of the Rona, but that means we have two weeks next year to go. Um, and yes, it's a very like revealing shirt. I probably would never wear this where I live. You guys know I live out in like the mountains and so people don't really wear stuff like this where I live, but when I'm in Las Vegas, I'll probably wear this. And I just love how gorgeous the back detailing is with all the crisscrossy straps. Next up, you guys have heard me talk about it several times now. I'm really into the patchwork trend this season. Patchwork is really, really in. I've gotten a dress that's patchwork. I've gotten a bag that's patchwork. Everything patchwork I've been just like totally buying if it's cute, if I think it's cute. And so this is another patchwork. What I like about this one though, it's like all the same color of material instead of having like all these different crazy colors. It's like all a navy blue and cream colored and it's all one piece. This is I don't know what the brand was, but it looks like it was cut out. And I think it might be vintage. It was $4.99. I just tied it in a little crisscross, but I could wear it with like a little like lacy shirt underneath. I said it before and I'll say it again. I'm definitely digging the patchwork trend. So yeah, so cute. Five bucks. All right, you guys, next up, I found these leggings right here. They're in a size extra small, and I didn't try these ones on because everyone knows what black leggings look like. Like, it's no, it's 
nothing exciting. So I didn't try these on because I was lazy and I was like, Mwah, they know black leggings. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this brand Yogalicious. It's like that. It's like a little circle with like a sliver coming out. And they have it in the location and they have it in the back middle right there on the leggings. And you guys, I had a pair of Lululemon leggings and honestly, I like these ones more and they're more affordable. You can actually find this brand quite a lot at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. My friend Ari, one of my best friends, my neighbor, my homegirl, sorry. She is a, like I said, she's a workout queen. So she lives in workout clothing and she loves this brand. And she actually is the one that introduced me to it at first. So I ended up actually selling my Lululemons and sticking with these Yogalicious because these are honestly, I swear they are just as good of quality and just as comfortable as Lululemons at a fraction of the price. I found these ones at the thrift store for $6, but I think usually at Marshall's, TJ Maxx, they're around like the $20 mark. So if you can find them for that price, I definitely say pick them up there too. Um, but I got lucky and got these black ones and I'm so excited to wear them now. This is my second favorite thing that I got in this haul. And it is this H&M dress right here. A little inner lining of it fell down. It does have two layers since it is crochet. And honestly, to me, this looks very like free people anthropology, probably more like free people looking to me. It's just beautiful, classic ivory white, crochet, long sleeve, scoop neck. I love it so much. To me, this looks much more expensive than H&M. And I just think it's so beautiful and very like free. And honestly, when I'm wearing it, I feel, I'm feeling myself. Like I was in this earlier when I was doing the try on portion and I was like dancing around. I didn't want to take it off. I was like, I want to go do a photo shoot in like a field with a hat and some brown cowboy boots in this i love it so much i think it's super cute i'm gonna have to wear it a few times before the weather starts to get cold because it is very like summery but i'm gonna try to get some wear out of it while it's still warm before it has to go away for the winter time this was also 6.99 you guys saw the bag that I showed you. I asked you guys if I should get it on Instagram. This is just like a work of art, you guys. It's literally like a basket bag, but it's pretty thick and sturdy, but it actually looks like a basket like all the way through. It has these cute little bat buttons. The buttons are even like a little wicker basket material. I thought it looked really cute with the white little dress and it just has so much detail. Like whoever made this is an artiste. You know what I'm saying? And I do have this listed on my Poshmark and Depop closets if you guys need this work of art in your life. It's up there. I found three pairs of shoes. These ones are the ones that I found at Goodwill. They are just these brown shoes right here. I looked them up and they're from the brand White Mountain, which seems like a pretty good shoe brand. I don't have many of their shoes, but I feel like they have like a pretty good reputation. These were $8.50 and I just think that they're so pretty. That color of brown goes a lot with my belts and a lot of things in my closet and they're kind of like that like loafer Oxford kind of style, which is nice. I'm not like a huge flats person. I don't really like flats. And sometimes I don't want to wear a sneaker or a boot. So I just think they're a good option to wear when you want to look like very smart and I don't know. Don't they look like a smart girl shoe? <laughs> okay, yeah, cute with sweaters. And then I also picked up two cute pairs of sandals for my Poshmark closets. The first ones I showed you when I was at Salvation Army. They are just these Airstep featured comfort. They're kind of like a woven little sandal flat, cute little thing right there. Whoops. If these were my size, I would 100% keep them, but I think that they're too big for me. They're like a seven, I'm pretty sure. Yes, they're a seven. They're just a size too big for me, so I do have them listed on my closet. I think they're so cute. These would look good with so many cute little sweaters or dresses for the rest of the warm weather. I'm also so sad about these not fitting me. These are really cute little woven sandals from Mexico. I love them so much. They're called El Zarco and they're just leather sandals. So cute. This will look so cute with sundresses, um, but these ones are also too big for me. These ones are just a half size too big. I think that they're like a six and a half or a seven as well. I think they're a six and a half. They seem like really durable and they don't seem like they've been worn all that much. All right, you guys, and then this is the last little jumpsuit that I got. It is this white jumpsuit with black leaves. You guys know I love black and white patterns 
I feel like I have so many different black and white dresses, jumpsuits, sweaters, anything that's like a black and white pattern. I just feel like it's such a classic, easy thing for me to style. And this one is originally from, where's the brand? Doesn't have a brand. It literally doesn't have a brand tag, a size tag nothing <laughs> so i'm not sure but it was 6.99 and it is very wide legged and then it's kind of like a cropped length so it looks really cute with sandals honestly just those like little mexican sandals would look so cute with this and a brown bag yeah that's it all right guys i've been talking for way too long these lights are getting hot i gotta go i gotta go edit this video so i could get it up i've been slacking and slow on my youtube uploads because i've been there's been a lot of stuff going on in my life you guys <laughs> I'm sure you guys feel probably the same way. I love you guys. I'll see you guys very, very soon in my next video.